St. Stephen's Basilica of Budapest is one of the most beautiful and significant churches and touristic attractions of the country. This is partly due to its historical heritage of being dedicated to the Holy King, St. Stephen, who was also the founder of the Hungarian state. St. Stephen's Basilica is located in the heart of Pest. In order to reach it, one can take the underground line M3, getting off at Arani Janos Station. The church is opened from Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Saturdays, it stays open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., whilst on Sundays from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. An entrance fee is charged. St. Stephen's Basilica is the most sacred Catholic church in all of Hungary. It is one of the cheapest attractions you can find. It is practically free. St. Stephen's Basilica is worth every penny. Inside this basilica is rich in works of art, statues, and paintings by important Hungarian artists. The main treasure housed in the church, however, is the holy right hand belonging to the uncorrupted King St. Stephen. St. Stephen's Basilica is in Budapest. St. Stephen's Basilica was begun in 1851 and completed in 1905.
Oprah. The Hungarian State Opera House is a historic opera house located in central Budapest on the Andrasi Ut. It's originally known as the Hungarian Royal Opera House. It was designed by the architect Miklos in the 19th century. This very opera house is just a kilometer from my hostel where I stay at the Avenue Hostel. If you want to enter, you need to buy a ticket. And the ticket cost 9,000. Yeah. Okay, Man. I'll do that. No, Thank you very yeah. much. In, in, in Hungary, they don't use euros, even though there are some places they can take euros, but when you are coming to Hungary, you need to change to their money so you can, you can do your business in peace. If you want to buy anything, you need the Hungarian currency and so you have to be aware of that.
of consent that was happening when I was inside the Oprah house. Since I was not away, I couldn't buy a ticket to attend. The Sicheni Chain Bridge is a chain bridge that spans the river Danube between Buddha and Pest, the western and eastern sides of. Budapest, the capital of Hungary. It was designed by the English engineer William Clark and built by Scottish engineer Adam Clark. It was the first permanent bridge across the Danube in Hungary. It was opened in 18. 49. It is anchored on the pest side of the river to Sicheni Square. <laughs> and on the Buddha side to Adam Clark Square near the zero kilometer stone in the lower end of the Castle Hill. Leading to Buddha Castle. So, from the chain bridge, the moment you cross, then you are at the Buddha Castle. Today's date is 21st of April 2024. That is the chain bridge. See chain chain bridge. It is so iconic, beautiful, fantastic, well designed bridge. It looks so amazing so great wow what a bridge
Maybe like 15 kilometer, okay. and they're going back to the island. Okay, <laughs> okay. They started from here. No, uh, they started from the island. Um, give me a second. Uh, this is the map. This okay. is where they started. Okay. They went to the other side. Okay. Ran all the way down, crossed a little lower. Wow. And this is where we are now. Okay. Like <laughs> right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they still have to come all so it, the way. It, is it, is there a price on it or what? They or get a medal or something. Yeah? Yeah. It's more like I can run a half marathon, you know. Okay. So okay. it's more like a mental resilience yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. Yeah. Wow. But what, what, what is the name of this place? Oh, uh, this is the castle. Oh, the Buddha, Buddha Castle. Buddha Castle, yeah. Oh, wow. wow yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, wow. Um, you can go up if you want to. There are staircases. Yeah, okay. And they go in a zigzag way. So you can take pictures there and all the way up. Okay. Yeah. You can go. Yeah. Thank you very oh, much. Okay. Let me check. Good morning, Fifteen kilometers. Come on! Well done, well done! Well done! 15 kilometers 
Marathon, é isso. Well done! Well done, well done, well done! Yes! Come on now! <laughs> Come on now, come on now, come on now. You did fantastic, man. Come on now. Yes, man. Budapest for you. Amazing, amazing, fantastic, Budapest. We are now at the Buddha Castle where the marathon is going on, 15 kilometers marathon. Wow, fantastic. Well done! Yes, 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 yes! Woo! <laughs> well done! Yo, man! Yeah! <laughs> fantastic, fantastic! Well done! Amazing, 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 amazing! Budapest! 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 Amazing, amazing! Fantastic! Superb! Fantastic man! <laughs> you do well. Come on. It's not easy, but keep going, man. Yo! Amazing Budapest. The 15 kilometers marathon. Yo! Budapest! Fantastic! Fantastic, man! Well done! Well done! Amazing! 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 Amazing, man! Yes! Come on! Nice one! <laughs> wow! Fantastic! Wow!
arriba. Buddha Castle. Buddha Castle is the historical castle and palace complex of the Hungarian kings in Budapest. It was first completed in 1265, although the massive palace today occupying most of the site was built between 1749 and 1769. The complex in the past was referred to as the Royal Palace or the Royal Castle. The gardens, the main courtyard, and the surroundings of the Buddha castle are free. So you can wander around for as long as you like. However, the free wings of the main building house different institutions that do require an entrance fee for you to visit them. That is the funicular 
that can take you to the castle hill and also bring you back so it's it has a return ticket if you want to use the funicular to go to the buddha castle you can go and then return with the same ticket i was tired very tired when i was climbing the hill wow so many steps <laughs> so many steps i had to take a lot of steps initially i didn't know about the funicular so i went climbing the stairs and i was very tired There you see many tourists visiting the castle here, the Buddha castle. When you are on top of the castle, you will see the Danube River. You can even see the Parliament House. You can see the Chain Bridge. You can even see the fishermen's bashing. You can see a whole lot of structures around the place. That is the Buddha castle. You can see my face, I'm very tired. Very, very, very tired. Wow. But, as you all know, traveling is my hobby.
I was tired, I accepted. Even though it's not expensive, I wanted to descend all by myself, but I couldn't, so I paid for the fare. Yeah. This funicular 
connect the banks of river Danube and the Buddha castle. The Fanukula was constructed by Odo Sicheni, son of the statesman Stephen Sicheni. It was his idea that they used to construct this funicular. It is the second funicular railway operating in Europe. Let us now discover the history of the Europe's of one of the Europe's most famous waterways, the Danube River. With a length of 2,850 kilometers, the Danube River is Europe's second largest river after the Volga, more than twice as long as the Rhine, and over three times longer than the Rhone. Starting in Germany, in the Black Forest, there are ten countries on the Danube, and it passes through four capital cities until it reaches the Black Sea. Throughout history, waterways have been the cheapest and easiest means of transporting people and goods. The Danube is one of 
the world's most famous rivers standing alongside the likes of the Nile, the Yangtze, and the Mississippi as places of natural beauty and the epicenter of history and culture. The Danube River Cruising on this river in the evening is one of the fantastic tours that you make in your entire life. But I took this today at around 1 p.m. because I didn't have time to do it in the evening. So, if you want to cruise on this river, you can also do it in the evening. But the evening price is different from the day price. So you must be aware of that. Cruising on the Danube River, you see on your shorts the Hungarian Parliament building. That is the Hungarian Parliament building. Fantastic building. Wow. So amazing. works. The sun was shining. The weather was so good. That is the parliament of Budapest. Hungarian parliament. Wow. Later on I will take you there by foot and you will see how the parliament building looks like.
I'm laughing at the idea, you know, like to drink David. He's going on a bit past the bars. That one was amazing. That one was a That one was Come and get a glass of alcohol. Well, yeah. You are, but. No, because that. I was in 18. So you were You were there. You were not. No, no, no. We went and did something. We went and did something. What do you want more?
Jewish shoes on the Danube River Bank. The shoes on the Danube Bank is a memorial erected on 16th April 2005 in Budapest, Hungary. It was conceived by film director Khan Togi. He created it on the east bank of the Danube River. It is a memorial for the Jewish people. If you look more closely, you see that the shoes are roasted, made of iron and set into the concrete of the embankment. They are a memorial and a monument to the Hungarian Jews who in the winter of 1944 to 1945 were shot on the banks of the Danube River by the members of the Arrow Cross Party. If you have ever been here, you see that the place is so sen 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 sensitive. You, you feel it when you know the history that is behind these shoes, these iron shoes in the Danube River. It was the Hungarian Jews that were shot in 1944 and 1945. So this film director brought this idea and it is so amazing. The Jewish shoes on the Danube River. I even tried to put my foot inside the shoes to feel their pain. I also prayed for them that the Lord should have mercy upon their souls so that they can end up in the kingdom of heaven. 
since they were Jewish, they were children of God, and I believe they will end up in heaven. All of them. It has become a spiritual place. Now I'm taking you now to the Hungarian parliament. And this is the Hungarian parliament building. The Hungarian Parliament Building, also known as the Parliament of Budapest after its location. It is the seat of the National Assembly of Hungary, a notable landmark of Hungary and a popular tourist destination in Budapest. The parliament building is currently the largest building in Hungary and the third largest parliament building in the world. Since 2000, the Holy Crown of Hungary has been on display in the central dome hall of the parliament building. It is certainly worth a visit. The Hungarian Parliament is usually opened for visitors from Monday to Sunday, with tours running from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. The last tour of the day starts at 5 p.m. When I went there today, tickets were already sold out. So I'm planning to visit the parliament again tomorrow, the 22nd day of April 2024. I pray that God will give me the chance to go and see the Hungarian parliament how it looks like. The parliament building is open nearly every day of the year for visits, led by trained guides who speak numerous languages or with audio guide. After purchasing their tickets, groups depart from the visitor center to take a tour of approximately 45 minutes through the most beautiful rooms in the building. People trying to, you know, make my video look great. Budapest, there are so many nice people that I have seen in Budapest. Now the price of tickets. Tickets start at around 9 euros, but the price varies depending on whether you are a citizen of the European Union. Students also get a discount to enter the parliament, and children under six years old get it free. The parliament building is situated on the Koshuf Square in the Pest side of the city, on the eastern bank of the Danube. It was designed by Hungarian architect Imer 
stein a new gothic style and opened and it was opened in uh, 1902 it has been the largest building in hungary since its completion Nice, Thank you no so much. Thank you. <laughs> Esse é o pé do Ju aqui, essa é a mão da tia Bárbara, 
esse é o pé do Tá filmando ele. Dá tchau pra ele. Tchau, tchau. tchau. Saint Matthias Church. The church of the Assumption of the Buddha Castle, more commonly known as the Matthias Church, more really the Coronation Church of Buddha, is a Catholic church located in the Holy Trinity Square, Budapest, Hungary. In front of the fisherman's bashing at the heart of Buddhist castle yeah. district. That is Saint Matthias Church. It is around the fisherman's bashing. When you get to this church, you will see a lot of tourists filming many people visiting this church. It is an amazing church, fantastic one, as I always say. My visit to Budapest has been so far successful. The things that I have been seeing is mind-boggling. Everything in Budapest looks so nice. All the tourist attraction places, when you go there, you feel that you have not wasted your money. It's worth a visit. Here is the fisherman's bashing where the church is also situated. The Matthias Church is open to visitors on weekdays, Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Saturday, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Sunday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Matthias Church offers free admission to a range of visitors, children and associates and worshippers.
as I stated earlier, the Matas Church was began in the early Gothic style in the 12th century to sanctify the Virgin Mary, patron saint of Hungary, during the reign of Bela the Fourth. However, all the monarchs who followed him also wanted to leave their artistic or architectural mark on the temple. The church is now 769 years old. The Halla Basta or Fisherman's Bastion is one of the best known monuments in Budapest located near the Buda Castle in the first district of Budapest. It is one of the most important tourist attractions in Hungary. The Fisherman's Passion. Here you see so many tourists going up and down around the fisherman's bash. So amazing, so fantastic. All this while I had nothing in my stomach. I was tired, but I was still pressing on. Wow. <laughs> From the fisherman's passion, I went to visit the Margaret's Island. Wow, what an island! Here you will see a lot of trees, lots of flowers. Wow, with different kinds of designs. The Margaret Island. Wow, Budapest. Whoa. You see people coming, they are all coming from the island. Wow, people were just relaxing. 
just relaxing, you see, in Margaret Island. People were just having their time. Couples. Men and women in relationships having their time in the island, in the garden. Wow, it is a big, big, I don't know how many kilometers I need to check. It was so big, I was not able to tour all the island. Why? Because I was tired. Why? Because it was so big, so huge. If you think I'm lying, find time to visit Margaret's Island and you will see for yourself. I'll be giving you a short history about this island. The maximum length of the island is 2.5 kilometers. 2.5. 2.5 kilometers wow some of the things you can do in the Margaret Island are these you can ride in a funky vehicle you can climb the Margaret Islands water tower you can go squirrel spotting You can go for a dip in the river. You can visit the rose gardens. You can also visit the Japanese garden. You can visit the ruins of a Franciscan monastery. You can get lost in the ruins of a Dominican convent. You can see the musical fountain. You can stay in a fancy spa hotel. You can eat at Hippie Island. You can spend the night at Zip. It is a fun place. If you want to enjoy yourself with your partner, thank you. You need to come to the Margaret Island. Margaret's Island is a lovely place to visit and as a public area it is free entrance. It is obviously a place the people of Budapest also enjoy. See how people are relaxing in the garden you will see 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 lots and lots of people relaxing in the Margaret's Island as a tourist and as a busy person I didn't even have time to relax in this garden just moving on even though I was looking tired I was still moving on hmm <laughs> it's not easy see see the poor relaxing but I'm busy filming
From there, I went to the Budapest train station to take some shots. And from the train station, I went to the West End Mall where I ended my visit for the second day. This is day two of my visit in Budapest. Please like and share this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you. 